Marketing and advertising can be complicated. complicated. What's most important? What should I focus on? Direct marketing? Email campaigns? Social media? Gold calling. With Marketing Atlas, you'll have a clear guide to get more leads, close more sales, and take your business to the next level. Welcome to Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. Marketing Atlas. With your host, Hernan Vasquez. So what are the best Facebook campaign objectives that we're running right now, what are the ones that are working the best, and why do we run them, and where do we run them, and when do we run them? Those are the questions that I'll try to answer on this content, on this video, because we are running several types of campaign objectives depending on what we're trying to achieve, and I want to share with you guys that, okay? Now, before I dive into that, we have a live class coming up next Thursday. Uh, today is Friday when I'm recording this. It's Friday the 29th. So next Thursday, next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, Thursday, May the 5th, uh, we're going to be running a free class. This class is going to be all about what I call our 100 million method. Our 100 million method of running Facebook ads. And the reason why we're recording this class is because I have some really cool things that I want to share with you guys that I've never before shared in public. This 100 million method that we use to run Facebook ads has allowed us to generate over $100 million in sales for our clients, including agency clients, including students. So we know the methodology that we're using to run Facebook ads work right now, despite everyone jumping ship, despite saying Facebook ads are dead, they don't work, blah, 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 blah. We're making it work like crazy. And I want to share with you how we make it work on this live class. The class is going to be free. It's going to be awesome. So, and then we'll have some Q&A time at the end. So if you have any Facebook advertising questions, bring them on. If you have a marketing person, bring them on. If you're your marketing person, I suggest that you uh, register. There's going to be a link somewhere around here, or you can go to hernanvasquez.com. That is H-E-R-N-A-N-V-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z.com, hernanvasquez.com slash 100M, 100M. All right, so number one, number zero, number zero, M, which stands for 100 million. Okay, so, but there's also a link somewhere around here so that you can register. Again, the class is going to be free and it's going to be awesome. All right, and it's all about how we're getting results for our clients right now using our 100 million method. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the best campaign objectives that we're using right now to generate results for our clients. I'm going to dive into three campaign objectives that we're using. We're not using a ton, actually four. We're going to be talking about four campaign objectives that we're using. And I'm also going to tell you guys what type of budget we're using on each. Okay. So the first campaign objective is our usual conversion campaigns. Uh, conversion campaigns, provided that your pixel is well set up and that you're using a tracking system, which we're going to talk about how to properly track your ads and attribute your ads in our free class. Provided that that's the case, conversion campaigns, they still take the lion's share of our budget. We spend anywhere between 70 to 80% of our budget in conversion campaigns. The reason why we do that is because we're a performance-based agency. We like to get results for our clients. And the number one way of doing that is to use conversion campaigns. Now, depending on the funnel, you might choose a conversion lead objective or conversion purchase objective, again, depending on the funnel. So that's like number one, 70 to 80% of our budget of all of the campaigns that we're running go to conversion campaign. But in order for these conversion campaigns to work, especially after iOS 14 updates, you want to make sure that you have a proper tracking in place so that you can set, send information back to the Facebook pixel so that Facebook pixel becomes smarter every single day and it gets you buyers and gets you leads, it gets you calls, whatever it is that you're optimizing for. So that is something that is really important. Again, we're going to be talking about how to properly set that up in our class on Thursday. It's going to be free. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so uh, hernanvasquez.com 100M. That's conversion objective number one. Conversion objective number two, which is a really strong contender, uh, it's lead generation campaigns. Now, here's the thing with lead generation campaigns. Lead generation campaigns, the difference between a lead generation campaign and a conversion campaign is that conversion campaigns are set up, the conversion objective is set up 
so that somebody clicks on an ad and exits Facebook and goes somewhere else. Okay. And you're paying a premium. You're paying a premium to get somebody to click on that link and get out of Facebook because number one, you're taking people out of Facebook, but also number two, what's going on is that you're leveraging the machine learning. What I really like about lead generation campaigns, and just to be clear, lead generation campaigns are campaigns that you will run, people will see an ad, they click on an ad and a form will pop up. Without them leaving Facebook, they can input their details in that form and that's it. So you're basically bypassing your opt-in forms. What I really like about lead generation campaigns is that usually the cost per lead, it's lower sometimes than your conversion campaigns. Now, some people will argue that the quality of the leads, since they're not being Facebook, might, might not be as good. But here's the thing. That is exactly the type of campaigns that we run, the best type of campaign that we run, the best campaign ever that we run, when we were growing the agency with Frank Kern and Grant Cardone. The campaign was super simple. We would offer people a PDF, a free PDF, okay? So we would offer them a free PDF, and then they opted in, and we had a question on that lead form that says, hey, if you need help with advertising, can we call you? And if they say yes, that put them into our system so our sales guys will call them. Super simple campaign. Lead generation campaigns are great, and they're strong contenders right now because, again, Facebook is rewarding you for keeping people within the platform. So again, we're, we're still doing a lot of tests with lead generation campaigns right now, and they still work. Just make sure that you have the system to get all of these leads uh, you know, to you. So that's objective number two. Objective number three, which I love, and these are campaigns that we run for everyone. We're running it for ourselves. We're running for every client. They're engagement campaigns. And we run them, we run engagement campaigns with anywhere between 10 to 15% of the client's budget and our own budget. And the reason why we do this is because we're really strategic when it comes to running engagement objective type ads. We don't want likes for the sake of likes. We don't want shares for the sake of shares. We're running them with really specific video content. And we're going to be talking about that in our class as well, how those type of campaigns are actually allowing us to lower our cost to acquire a customer. Where everyone else is experiencing an increasing cost, we're actually doing the opposite just by implementing what we call the uh, scale-driven social branding campaigns. Okay, so we, we grab some of uh, what's out there and we added our own twist to it with our own flavor. And we're running that for clients for anywhere between 10 to 15% of the budget. And it works wonders, guys. Like, you know, it, it works really well. So engagement campaign, it's a really viable objective right now because it's super cheap. Again, as long as you keep people within Facebook, as long as you keep people within Instagram and you don't know, make them go out of the platform, there's nothing wrong with that. But as long as you keep them in, Facebook will reward you. And engagement campaigns do exactly that. Okay, it can push your content, it can help you push your content, it can help you get people consuming your content. So engagement campaigns are great and I love them. Okay, so that's objective number three. And objective number four is traffic. We use traffic campaigns when we're trying to get people to take action and get them back into the funnel. So for retargeting campaigns, traffic campaigns work extremely well. Let's say that you get somebody to a landing page through a conversion campaign. That is the first touching point. So you basically already leverage Facebook machine learning. So the second step, meaning getting people to come back to that page if they didn't take action, which is going to be the vast majority of those people, by the way, we use traffic campaigns to get them back to take action. Okay. So just to recap, number one, conversions that take 70 to 80% of our budget, lead generation campaigns, we're doing a lot of testing. They're still really viable. Provided that you have the resources to, you know, to call all of these leads and follow up with all of, all of those leads. Number three, engagement campaigns. Run them with your best content. Run them with your best videos. Because that way you can create audiences that you can later target to. And number four, traffic or retargeting. If you want to learn more about our 100 million method, about how we're generating these type of results for clients, where everyone else is panicking, everyone else is jumping out of the platform that creates a lot of opportunity for people that want to double down on the platform. We've been doing this for the past six, seven years now with great results. We spent a ton of money on ads. Like over the past two months, I think we spent like $2 million on ads. And last year alone, we spent close to $10 million and we generated over $100 million in sales attributed back to our, to our ads. Now, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that 
because the stuff that you're going to see in the class is not based on opinion. It's not based on what I wrote in a course. It's not based on what I think it's, it's right. It's based on experience, actual real life experience. Okay. So I want to share with you guys what we're doing. Go ahead, register for the class. There's going to be a link somewhere around here. It's hernanvasquez.com slash 100M. 100M, that stands for 100 million. And it's a Zoom link. It's going to be free. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be taking some questions at the end. If you have questions about Facebook ads, bring them on because we're going to go through your campaigns together. Uh, it's going to be free. It's going to be fantastic. Of course, there's going to be an offer at the end if you want to work with me and with my team one on one. That's also a possibility. That's why we're making this. But I also want to give away a lot of good, cool value for you guys. All right. So thank you guys. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see you guys soon, but I'll also see you guys next Thursday in our live call. Thank you guys.